Down here at the Minnesota Capitol again, like our every day, every every week, every Saturday at noon. It's a beautiful day. Look at how nice and blue the sky is. The sun's really bright. People's house. Some people here already. Yeah, but it looks nice. We're going to have, a, I think, a bigger event tomorrow, so people should be planning on showing up for that. Uh, what are you doing? I don't know. You beat What's me here. Fun? You beat me here this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's everyone? It doesn't matter. They'll be, they'll be here. So, we come here every week. Yeah. So how come you come here every week? To stand against censorship. To stand up for the American freedom. I, I, thought, I thought I thought I thought this whole idea, I thought this whole idea to hold the line. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I hope the whole. Well, they say that censorship doesn't exist. It's fake news. Always, it's all right. I get fat took a lot. I get shadow banned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting shadow banned, but still, our stuff is getting out there. Yeah. Still getting out there. You know, when you get fat like your shadow fan, you put in the truth out there and they don't like it. Yep. <laughs> because uh, the other teams put out fake stuff constantly and they don't get in trouble for it. I know, right? But our, our stuff's been getting out there. So who won for the mayor in, in uh, Minneapolis? Minneapolis is uh, the incumbent one. So did the incumbent in St. Paul. So. Mayor Fry? Fry won, yeah. Really? Yep. All I know is uh, Virginia. Virginia is awesome. So, and when New, New Jersey, good. New Jersey should have went our way too. I know Minneapolis gets to keep their uh, police, which is a huge win. Okay, so how would that have been for you? Would that have been an impact for you? Do you think? What Minneapolis? What would have happened if Minneapolis's police would have been um, gotten rid of? We all know what would have happened. All hell would break loose. Even then, even they, leading they even leading cops. voices even leading voices for the Antifa groups were against it. Really? Yeah, I saw some of their stuff. Oh shit! Yeah, they they. Uh, That's shocking. <laughs> well, they wanna they wanna they wanna flap their gums about you know defund the police and stuff, but uh, when push comes to shove, um, they want the cops. They know the cops are basically uh, you know not bad. Um, they they just. Um, they just want to say a lot of stuff that, um, you know, they don't really believe it, you know. Yeah. It, and uh, all of the Antifa groups, um, they all have um, their own, they, they always show up with their own security. So, and, uh, and all of these political people are always showing up with their own security. And the regular people are the ones that are going to suffer for it because these uh, uber elites and stuff have their own private security. But the average yeah. people would have problems.
So we always pick on Cammie when she's here because Cammie, there's a, one of the things about Cammie is Cammie is fairly pithy. Uh-huh. So what's the deal today, Cammie? Just say it. And say it. What deal? What's what the mean? deal? What's the deal today? Saturday noon. Actually 12, actually 11.58, not quite noon. Well, what's the story for today? Hmm. Good question. A lot of the people that we have show up at these events want to give us a 20-minute speech. And uh, it's nicer, I think, a lot of times when they give you a five-minute speech or a two-minute speech yeah. or literally a 20-second little sound bite. <laughs> they, they must be doing something. You got peepers. Oh, you got something going on in there? No, we're just doing oh, we're just oh, we'll do the picture for you. Very professional oh, yeah? photo shoot. Oh, uh, <laughs> we're wondering what, what. One of us will do the photo for you if you want it. Oh, yeah? she, she would do it. Yeah. You want to take a picture for him? I could do it for him. We were just wondering what the deal was when you were picking. Oh, yeah, sorry, I wasn't looking at oh, you there. Oh. Gotcha. Okay. Take, you one, want to pick? Pick? take one of the beautiful people first, and then I'll push them right up just a couple of turns. <laughs> So this is a wonderful place for people to go. You can go here whenever you want. And, uh, you know, it's... So they are here on a visit. So you're visiting from where? LA. Oh, so the weather here is way better than L.A. Yeah. <laughs> you know the refreshing crispness in the wintertime? LA is pretty nice. It is. It's no Midwest though. Yeah. Thank you so much. You want you can use Toronto or no? Oh, you got us, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Right. I like I like the seasonal weather. Of, of course. Great camp development. Great. Oh yeah. The Minnesota tour is so great. Great Midwest. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. To me, to me, not having winter, not having fall, not having spring. <laughs> LA, LA is nice and stuff, but it's me, nice, it's but, kind know, of... You get away from uh, all of the vomit and trash on the streets here. Oh, <laughs> oh come on now. Hey. Come on now. I think that's the other way around. <laughs> we're actually pretty clean here. No, that's, oh, what, no, that's what he was saying. He was saying <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying, oh, yeah. yeah you're yeah. getting away from it yeah. from here. Yeah, okay. You're from LA? Yes. LA. So we never asked you what your politics was. What do you guys, how do you guys yeah, feel about... Beautiful. What's going on in I LA? Trash too by the How do you guys feel about you know, you know all like vomit and trash and stuff? We'd rather live in LA uh, or San Diego. You know, San we, Diego all day. We're not big fans of how yeah. the city yeah. is run, and it's, it's sad. It's, I mean, she Just works. The mayor. I, I work she for the city for the Rec and Parks. Oh, and so Los Angeles. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, just trying to save the next generation of children. Yeah. Well, Minneapolis is pretty yeah. bad. There's a lot of homeless camps all over there. I mean, yeah, we, we just saw. We yeah, talked to you. I said, oh, it's, it's just like home. Yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah. more or less just during nice weather, I think. I don't think it's necessarily year-round. But, you know, people people around here are real, real charitable and real, you know, they help out people who are oh, yeah. underprivileged and so forth. It's always been like that, but um, we never really had any real, real big problems, you know, like... You know, like well, people. Yeah. No, yeah, LA is a hotbed, a hot, yeah. big hot mess of problems. Well, thank you for taking a picture. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> you didn't bring your guitar. Oh yeah. Where's your guitar? He brought his harmonica. No, it's here. It's right down here. Okay. Because people like to see Scotty play. Scotty does a good job. I got my GS Mini with me today. Every once in a while, Scotty puts out rock and roll. You've been doing that a little bit recently. Rock and roll? Well, I don't know what you would call it. Whatever you were doing recently was from a... Oh, 
the Iron Mountain song? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's an old one I wrote. I got some weird sound going from somewhere. Where's that weird sound coming from? This is gone now. Yeah, I played in a rock and roll band. A lot of people are convinced that coming out here for a rally is dangerous. I bring this up all the time. I feel like it's dangerous today. I've never felt this dangerous. <laughs> no. Even if it's even us come around. Is it? Like yeah, it. even if they show up, yeah. So, so, do you feel like this is dangerous? I wonder if any of those people feel like it's dangerous. Well, these, these people from the stick, they should, they, they, they're supposed to be more rugged. They shouldn't be afraid of this. <laughs> the, I, I grew up out in the country, you know, the, this Antifa stuff. That, that, I lived out in the country. I, 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 just can't, I just can't understand how come these people are so convinced that this is dangerous. You know? Fake news, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we're here all the time. We come here every week. Yeah. Every week. Every once in a while they show up. The bad guys show up. Well, every city is it's dangerous, but I think if you're emphasizing just solely on on that, it kind of it tends to get overblown, yep. magnified, like make it way worse than it actually is. Yeah, we've been out here a few times when there's yeah. like 200 of the Antifa show up, yeah. and they start mobilizing here because they're going to do a rally. Yeah, and we're here already. Yeah, and they know we're here. Yeah, and is that a problem? I haven't had any. No, it's not a problem. No, no, we don't have any problem. No. No. Nope. Not just because they show up, you know. Yeah. And if they show up, you know, what, we, have, we actually enjoy it having they show up. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fun when they show up? Yeah. Because they can't talk. <laughs> Are they good at talking? Effectively deba debating? Well... This is uh, no talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's their how they talk. That's how they talk. <laughs> yeah. They can't. They, they have like one or two lines, and that's about the depth of their talk. Yeah. So pretty much, even our little like Novalee and stuff could smoke them. And she's only nine. I know. You know, we don't have they to just, get to the height. They're good at popping tires. They're good. At, uh, that's the thing, they're popping they're tires, really, and they're not even really worth the time. Even they're just. They don't have any depth. They're not even worth the trouble. I think the, you know, the trouble is in there. That's what the problem is. Yeah, yeah. These are the ones that actually write laws and stuff. Those are where the real hoodlums and the real thugs are. The real hoodlums, yep. The real punks. And that punk in the White House, you know, that hoodlum, that, that senile punk, the illegal squatter that's oh, yeah. unlawfully occupying it. Yeah. So you should tell us how you really feel. Okay. Well, <laughs> he, now you'd have to, he has been. We gotta to keep bleep, it. You have to bleep, we we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it G-rated, right? Yeah. Yeah. So where, where's the real problems we have in society right now, Diana? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the real problem. How do you feel about the uh, the votes that we had recently about the not defunding the police? Well, that's good. Um, I think uh, what we need to do is we need to get back to the, the people, and uh, we need to get back to um, our our moral values. Yeah. And um, it needs it really needs to to go back to our individual liberties and. Um, back to our rights that are uh, protected by the Constitution. They're given to us, you know, from God. I mean, they're, they're God-given, but they're protected by the Constitution, and we need to really go back to protecting them. Yep. That's basically the main nut. If we were to summarize this last week, how would you summarize it, Cammy? Two revolutionary wins. Georgia flipped red and Minneapolis keeps their uh, police department. Those are both good. Although St. Paul sucked. We sucked with Melvin Carter. And a bunch of left wing school candidates. St. Paul school board just. How do you feel about these school board races? Don't 
getting this started. Yeah, we've got lots we of time. Don't, we don't need credit card race theory in the school systems. What other stuff do you think that's not good in the schools right now? Unmask our children. They're not yours to unmask. They're our children. Parents' choice. Let us uh, decide. Definitely not following the science. <laughs> oh, no. It's all political. It's Isn't political. science settled? No. Science is never settled. I mean, that's the scientific theory. You're always challenging it. I mean, was it settled when they said that um, uh, DDT is just fine? It's going to get rid of all these bugs. You're, you're going to have a great in, uh, crops, you know, because you're not going to kill off all these bugs. Oh yeah, well, oh, hey, who eats the bugs? Oh, the birds. Who eats, uh, who eats the, the ducks and the geese and stuff? Oh, people. Oh. 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 <laughs> that stuff gets into our greens. We feed the greens to the cows. That gets into our milk. What do we feed the milk to? Our kids. Oh. Oh. Poison. Oh, but, but, but the government told me that DDT was fine. The government, it was settled, right? Oh no. So how do we know this is settled? And you know, and, and I, I'm not anti-vax. I do believe that people that, that have um, immune issues and uh, health issues uh, should go ahead and get the vaccine because it probably outweighs the good it does versus the, 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 the chances of a, a problem. But somebody that's perfectly healthy like these athletes, why are you forcing them? The Navy SEALs, why the hell do they need to take the vaccine? They're as healthy as can be. It, there's there's more possibility of harm coming from the vaccine than good there, as far as I see. And, and besides, it comes down to personal choice, you know? I know, I, I know, I know myself, personally, I think the vaccines are all intended for people who haven't actually gotten the disease. And the idea that you should be getting a vaccination after you've already gotten the disease seems kind of crazy. And I personally don't think, um, if you've already been sick, um, I think it's a bad idea to get the vaccine myself. Um, I, I keep hearing about all these negative consequences of the vaccine. And for me, personally, um, if you've already gotten it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to get it. So, and I keep also hearing that the vaccine, um, each time you get another dose, each time you get a booster, the reaction that your body gives to this thing, which is exactly the same stuff each time, is worse. Yeah. And uh, well, and it's not even the approved uh, vaccine that they're giving people. It, the, the approved vaccines aren't available yet. Yep. But they're mandating that you get the shot, so you're getting the unapproved emergency one. So we got a counter protester walking up on us. I was, to me, it's like the government. This is counter protester. Everything. So why should I believe him on that? Yeah. yeah. I don't believe him on anything else. Why am I going to believe him on that? Well, uh, they're, 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 our, they're our government. Shouldn't you believe the government? No. They're, they're doctors and stuff. They're like experts. <laughs> Jeremiah 17.5. Cursed is the man who puts his trust in man. But the government is telling us to take it, and then if you don't take it, that you're 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 basically endangering you're endangering Cami here if you don't get it. <laughs> Nonsense! <laughs> They're a bunch of liars. Why would I believe them? They lie, they lie about everything else. Have you ever seen that video with yeah. the with no, the video? He's endangering me. I've had the vaccine. He hasn't had the vaccine. So he's endangering me. I've had the vaccine. Yeah, that's a, yeah. So you are endangering her. her? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, have you guys seen the video of the guy who's got the life jacket commercial? Oh, GP Sears? Yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> you know, how come you're not wearing your life jacket, Bruce? Well, because because um, you know you're in danger in Diana here. Yeah, you're the you know, you know, you're not wearing your life jacket today, there's Bruce. A, there's a rainbow in the sky that said he won't flood the earth again. No, but you're you're that's you, all, the that's science. The science. The science requires that you be wearing a life jacket to to, to, to protect <laughs> Diana, so Diana doesn't <laughs> die. Right? We don't want Diana to die, and you not wearing your life jacket are endangering her. Really? Yep. 
Well, that's interesting logic. <laughs> uh, how does, how does that work out? Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen JP? Work out in a practical. Way? Have you ever seen JP Sears' video? Don't recall. He hasn't seen it. Well, there, there's the, there's this show. There's this little commercial that little little video that JP Sears puts out that talks about um, um, life jackets. Oh yeah. You know, and how. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sears, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, what's what's the what's the, the what, tell Bruce what this what that little thing is. We oh. can put we can put the clip underneath the video. Oh uh, yeah, Sears. Uh, well, he he does he does these funny videos, and um, he's getting ready to jump in his pool, and the uh, guy comes up to him and says, "Oh, you got to put it on your life jacket." And he said, "I don't need a life jacket. I swim just fine." He said, no, but you got to wear a life jacket because otherwise you're putting me in danger. And the guy's wearing, that's saying this is wearing a life jacket. But you're wearing a life jacket. Why would why would I have to wear a life jacket for you not to draw? <laughs> you're going to put me in danger. If no, you he's don't playing, wear a life he jacket. plays both roles, too. He yeah. plays like both yeah, guys in there. <laughs> I'm the guy in the water. He plays like three people. All yeah, it's all. good. He plays on three of them. It's yeah. funny, you know, and What's it's true. What would that represent? Yeah. In today's uh, today's society, what we're dealing with, how would that be, um, you know, a relevant matter? Well, they're basically a symbolic. One, of the, they're, they're arguing, they're arguing that your lack of compliance with government orders is endangering other people in a in a in a way that's completely illogical. You know, okay. like, like you know, like like you you wearing this coat is causing other people to overheat. How about vaccines? Yeah. No, that was about, that's that what they're talking about. Topic. Talking about vaccines okay. or talking about, but they don't they don't talk about they talk about it in terms of uh, life jackets. How about healthy people wearing face masks? Yeah. How does that help? Well, well, in some situations, I can see where the masks could help spreading bacteria. If you were sick, if you were sick, if, yeah. you were sick. if I was sick and I was coughing or whatever, it's it would so, make sense to keep it. So the last 50 years, there's never been a time when any human being could be carrying such illness and not know it, correct? In the last 50 years? So how come we haven't all been wearing face masks for the last 50 years? Yeah, she was, she was, she was kind of dumb. All the time. Then, then, then also explain why, why do the healthy SEALs on the SEAL team need to get vaccinated to protect other people, but all these people that we got pouring across our southern border and being shipped off clandestinely in the night to all the, the different points in the USA, they don't have to be vaccinated. They don't have to even right. be tested. You know? Yeah. So how, how is that protecting me from, from them bringing in diseases? And it's not just uh, right. it's not just COVID. There's a lot of other diseases, diseases yeah. that they've never yeah. been uh, hey. inoculated. How about tuberculosis? In yeah, they, uh, they spread that too. Well, for all we yeah. know, you could be getting Ebola in here. Yeah. Ebola? Yeah, I mean, there's people coming from those countries where Ebola exists or did yeah, exist. Ebola, Ebola. Ebola is not a concern. God, no. No, and neither is AIDS. That can't be Right? You guys know that AIDS isn't a concern. AIDS isn't a concern because the mainstream media didn't tell us. Yeah. And the government didn't say so. Yeah, AIDS, <laughs> it, back in the day, AIDS had almost 100% death rate. Yeah, and that wasn't a problem. And it's still very, very high deadly. very, very in deadly. homosexual men, especially. Yeah, so it's a deadly disease that's not a problem. And other diseases that have very low death rates. There's right. a lot of communicable diseases out there. Yep. Yep. The rats down in the Rio Grande uh, Valley, they, they're still finding rats down there that have uh, black plague, that carry black plague. So tell me that some of these people coming across could possibly be bringing black plague back to us. So I, what does that tell you about the motive of government for the American people to have vaccines and they don't care if illegal aliens don't population. have vaccines? Maybe what what is their motivation toward the American public taking the vaccine? 
I should have multiple cameras and be switching. <laughs> I think people really, I think people really need to double down on. Uh, you need to totally like walk with God here, man. And totally because we got okay, we got people, we got people out of these stadiums saying f f Joe Biden or let's go Brandon. Fine, but what are they doing in the stadium? What are you doing in a ball game in the first place? The stadium should be empty, man. Because you're funding the enemy. These sports, they're an enemy of the people with their woke culture. They're proven. They're forcing vac vaccines on the players. You know, yeah. with all their... They support the LGBT stuff. Yeah, we got to use the word jab. All kinds of other, all kinds she, of knows, she knows how we get ourselves... Oh, all yeah. these words you guys are using. I won't either. All these like words. Like you're getting shadow banned. Yeah, you're getting me shadow banned. Jab. We got the words. Jab. Every time yeah. that somebody uses one of the words that's not approved by the government, yeah. we wind up getting one of those flags. What would it I use? Uh, usually it's vaccine flag or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah? Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so they're, 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 and they shadow ban everybody for saying stuff that's not approved by the government. Right. Or by, by the dictators at Facebook yeah, or Twitter. Screw them. Yeah, screw yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Commies. Yeah. Yeah. I just need some more time with the Lord because I've, I've been uh, going, 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 <laughs> fighting, fighting, and it is a time to fight. Right now it is, yeah. I think, you know what I think we need? I've been a little tired. You know what I too. think we need? To, these politicians, okay? They come into Congress, right, at $150,000 or $200,000 your salary, and they leave as, like, multimillionaires. So how do they magically, like, do that? So I think the question we should ask these people if they run for office, find out how much they're worth, where they get their money from. Are you willing to renounce that and give up everything that you have? For one that thing, shows a true test if a person's really of God or not. Did you, did you an article on Twitter on Bill yeah. Gates? He said on a six million dollar yeah. yacht, and he wants all of us to eat this synthetic meat. For yet, his oh, prime yes. rib just got finished. You know, so I'm sure his well, prime the, the, rib but, was but not the, synthetic. But the rules for him and the rules for you are different. No, it's not. Yeah, no, because it's not. he, he the needs. Bible says. <laughs> he needs people like people like Bill Gates well, need to them. have so rules are for everybody. have privilege. Yeah. No, they don't. Amen. And There's people no. like you have to live in a, in a shoebox. Uh, so why are we all supposed to eat synthetic earth, meat while they the eat the good meat? Of a report, yep. Psalm 24, the one. What was that quote? The earth and the fullness thereof it belong to God. It's Psalm 24, one. So in other words, that God owns everything. We own nothing. So these people say you own nothing. Well, guess what? They don't own anything either. God owns everything. Gold and silver are mine, thus saith the Lord. So God owns all the... We, God owns the gold and the silver. God makes the rules. We're just stewards of what he gives us. Yeah. I think in the Bible somewhere it says that the government yeah. is supposed to decide everything and, and decide how much you get, right, Bruce? Yes, Bruce uh, there are different <laughs> forms of governments, and uh, Israel has one form. We have another form, and the form of government we've been blessed with by God. God helped set up this government. And we have a government of the people, by the people, for the people. We have a government of representatives that are to represent the people. We have a government that has individual freedoms built into our foundational documents of this nation. Um, and I think you know what they are. And <clears throat> we have a na nation that um, is founded on uh, the right to pursue life liberty life liberty and the pursuit of happiness is built into our and so when you get dictator, dictatorial orders that are opposing these god-given freedoms it's not we who are rebelling when we don't follow them it's the officials that are rebelling mm -hmm. against our nation and our founding documents they are the ones, excuse me, they are the ones. Uh oh, I, uh, I saw <laughs> that. There's, it's on camera, it's on camera and everything. You know me. Oh, here Mr. Going. Fingers here. here. Uh -oh. Speaking with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, it's a rebellion. We got proof the here. Uh, <laughs> but definitely no no evil motive. Yes, that, that, that's not his Bible. Yeah. That's not his Bible. That's you know, we, we're going to we're going to harass, we're gonna harass right. Bruce that's because, OK, my Bible is getting to be unreadable. No, no. This what this does. If you it's see somebody, if you see somebody, who's, that's true. If you see somebody with the Bible like this, that means they don't read it. Oops. 
That's the, right. This, this is this is, not been not written. Not this is crispy. That's it's right. It's not dog-eared. Yeah. Like not to use I was wondering if we could read one Samuel eight in there. But this is a little bit Ooh, one Samuel eight. One Samuel eight. Yeah. The words on my other Bible are getting smaller for some reason. Well, that's because you're getting older. <laughs> oh, what was that? What happened? <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, every once in a while, you kind of got to retire one of these things if you use it so much. But I hopefully you don't get rid of it, though. But I was just going to echo something that Scotty said. Okay. If I can find it quickly, right? Which, which one was that? Really? But it talks about that, you know, there's... Okay, I fortunately found it, and so as far as eating foods, you know, demanding us to be vegetarians or whatever, or don't eat meat, don't eat dairy, whatever, it says here specifically that, <clears throat> well, it's a long sentence. Paul does long sentences. I'll just do he doesn't a know, Paul doesn't know how to use commas, you're saying? I'll just, I'll just try a part of a sentence here. <laughs> So by means of the hypocrisy of liars, seared in their own consciences, conscience, as with a branding iron, men who forbid marriage, God didn't make us to forbid people from marrying, and advocating abstaining from foods which God has created to be gratefully shared in, by those who believe and know the truth. So I'm not limited in the foods that I can enjoy. Now, as I get uh, wiser, there are foods I may choose to not eat because I believe they're not as healthy as others. Or I, my particular chem chemistry of my body may not do well with certain foods, so I may switch. But as far as foods being illegal, all of them can be enjoyed and we can thank God for them and we shouldn't force, you know, people on a certain diet. You're saying stuff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, go an angle on you here, Bruce, because you're saying everything that God made is good. So you, yeah, you, now you're, you're going to say mosquitoes? No, 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 not mosquitoes. <laughs> you're, I'm talking foods here now. Okay. Now, you're saying God created things like, uh, like poppies. And, and, and marijuana and stuff like yes. that. What's, what's your position on um, God-created stuff Obviously, that can be abused? <clears throat> Obviously, this is, seems to be saying... Alcohol is God-created too, right? Um, to some degree. What, what, what did um, Jesus drink at the Last Supper? Wine. Red wine. I think they had wine. It says, it did, says did, in did Timothy, it say, did it take say, a little wine for the stomach. Did, did it did it say it did, like did, did it did it say the wine wine was red? What, what I think it but the implication was it was red wine. I don't recall. I think it just says it wine. It might be generally understood. It probably might have been because I mean, you know. I don't know. That's a biblical question too. But anyway, as far as the drug stuff goes, what's what do you think about that? Yeah, you know, obviously this is referring to edible foods. That you can, are good you can for eat you. this stuff. Not not eating stuff that's. Modified. Questionable. But, yeah, I mean, as far as marijuana goes, um, did God create that? Um, Apparently. As far as I know, but I know man can, can like, crossbreed things yep. and make things. Yep. So, as far as I know... Yeah, the um, stuff nowadays is dramatically stronger than it was it back in the... It does seem to have medicinal value, too. I think it's proper use and then there's abuse. Well, they, they, you know, being a stoner, no, that's not. Good. You know, right now, one of the biggest uses of uh, narcotics are, are morphine, and basically, anybody who gets really sick in the hospital right now, a lot of these COVID patients, they start putting them on a morphine drip, and then they start telling them they can take as much morphine as they want. I got examples of people that were killed that way in the last week. You know, yeah, yeah. so well, that's they're horrendous. they're basically Absolutely they're horrendous. basically putting people down using morphine drips. And, uh, that's they, one of the ways. They're well, that's doing one it. of the common ways right now. Remdesivir is another way. I don't think that kills them. Where the end result of remdesivir Intimating. is your lungs fill up with liquid and you drown, you stop breathing. Mm -hmm. So that is very serious side effect of remdesivir. But yeah, um, God also gave us a mind to think with, right? Yep. He gave us a conscience, a heart, 
And so we should be wise enough to know how to use different foods and different plants for the best of us. Um, the Bible clearly says that, you know, to be, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. And so, and it says a little wine is good for the stomach. So we need to use our head a little bit here. Like, a, little, a little bit's good, but not a lot. <laughs> moderation. Mo moderation, yeah. Like, um, you know, maybe that, that, uh, crop that can become cocaine. This is noisy maybe in here right now. That's you know, if, if drunkenness with wine is bad, how much worse is being high with drugs? Yeah. And, and if I recall, if I can recall the wording, the Bible calls using drugs and being high on drugs sorcery. Pharmakia. Yeah. Because pharmakia, because it opens pharmakia. Your, it yeah. opens your spirit, yeah, your soul up to demonic beings. Have oh, any yeah, of you I ever known that? I did it for years. That pe someone on drugs who yeah. gets very strange, like almost demonic and dark. That's no. because I've, I've been around getting like high on drugs is sorcery. Now, I'm that not is. going to blanket say that you can't use marijuana, can't be used for anything good. I'm not going to blanket say that. But I am going to say that they will use the good purposes for marijuana to promote the bad purposes, yep. which medical like science, yeah, use, yeah. recreational, which science has <laughs> proven causes paranoia. And by the it way, does. What, what does most of the gun, gun crimes and violence, a large percentage of it caused by drug use and paranoia, and alcohol, schizophrenia. Alcohol, alcohol use too. The alcohol Mental. tends to be one of the worst ones of them all. Yeah, alcohol. So. But no, I did, I they're doing a little rally the over here. Bloodstream as long as like marijuana. Oh, they're doing oh, a present. They're pinning. They're pinning somebody. <laughs> We didn't know you were doing the ceremony. Yep. Pinning ceremony. Yeah. It's a big deal today for her. This is her family? Yeah, yep. So that's her spouse and her children. Oh, okay. And then the woman in blue is her mom. And then the that's your mom? Your mom? Well, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Well, I 
Well, congratulations. You guys are with the National Guard? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you guys do pinning ceremonies here on a regular basis? Or? Yeah. When the weather's nice, I try to bring them over here. So we, our Joint Force Headquarters is just down the street. That's yeah. where we do their board for these direct missions, like the medical practitioners, the lawyers, those folks. And so I really like doing it in front of the Capitol for obvious reasons, I think. That's nice. Yeah. Especially yeah. when the weather's good, like today. Yeah. yeah. But in the wintertime, we have to do it indoors, which is a little better. But she got she got promoted to a lieutenant. Yeah, so she was an E5, a sergeant in the Army National Guard. She, oh. she was a dental technician. She got and now a commission. she's commissioned as an officer. Yeah, oh, that's second nice. Lieutenant. Second lieutenant. So she's a nurse on the civilian side. Oh. And that's what she'll be recognized now as in the guard. Excellent. Yeah. Packer. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, my son got his lieutenant, second lieutenant in uh, in the Marines. Oh, okay. And now he's going to be a pilot. So. Good, good. Well, that's a really good job. Yeah. Is he full-time? Yeah. Okay. He's in Florida for the... I keep telling him when he gets... Training? Yeah, yeah. I keep telling He doesn't know what he's going to get for an airplane yet. Oh, yeah. A bird, but uh, he's hoping for an Osprey. But oh, nice. I keep, I keep telling him that he has to give me a ride. Yeah, for sure. You know, it would be kind of cool if they had a two-seater equivalent to an F-35 or something, but I think those are one-seaters, so I'm not going to hang on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> you got one bar. So you're first lieutenant? Second lieutenant. Second lieutenant, okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, so we, we got lucky being here for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice stuff happens all the time. Yeah, I didn't know they were going to be your first salute. You did? Yep. You got to be your first salute? Yep. Yeah, I caught Oh. Yeah, I caught it. <laughs> she, Sergeant Halsey's happy to have been your first salute, she said. <laughs> Sergeant Halsey here said she was happy to have been her first salute. Even after I became president. <laughs> but as I get older and older, now it's just that like I'm kind of more. Uh, <laughs> it seems more and more and more I want the things of God. And not, I don't, like I don't value them. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 So that was her first, that was her first salute. <laughs> <laughs> you had your, your surgeon hat on and everything. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. She's, now she's a nurse. So apparently she got uh, nursing. Well, she, she was a nurse, but she, she, she was a dental her, dental hygienist. Got, they oh, said. She, got, she got her um, commission because yeah. Because she got promoted to nurse or something. Well. Oh. But I think oh, maybe, maybe there's a reason why. I'm uh -huh. <laughs> it was an honor to be here for your thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do a, a I never really did the hard road, Do these? We don't. You don't normally do it on Saturday. It sounds like. 
Yeah, we, totally. we, we're out here all the time on Saturday. Yeah, it depends. They're trying to do more Saturdays because then we get a lot of the part-time officers that can be on the board, right? Oh, yeah. But like, yeah. oftentimes it's more convenient for the full-time folks to do on weekdays. But yeah, it's it's better it's a better ideal for these lawyers and nurses and stuff to do on the weekends. Sure. sure. They're, they're full-time commitments to the community. So. so you you work in that building that's not too far away? That's basically a headquarters. I don't. That's where the board's held. I actually work in Northeast Minneapolis oh, on Broadway Street. Okay. So. That's All right. Well, if you ever want to know who the engineer was for that, the electrical engineer really? for that. On that building. That's a nice building, by the <laughs> nice way. I went to their locker room. <laughs> I was shocked because ours is okay. Yeah, yeah. 90, so it's like, yeah. I don't talk about that one very often, no, though. It's, yeah. just, it's kind of hush-hush. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a good deal of time in the jock over there, so that secure room that you probably yep, want. Yep, 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 yep. I don't talk about that one. Don't no. <laughs> I got a funny story about the guy who runs that, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the guy's a general. Yeah. I'm an electrical engineer, right? Yeah. They sort of give me a hard time about the receptacle that's outside. Yeah. And I specified a reverse pin receptacle. Uh -huh. So the pins are backwards, so you can't kill yourself back with sure. the generator. Mm -hmm. And so the, gener the general comes out and starts harassing me. I'm an engineer, right? He comes out here and he, he starts telling me that he told the contractor to get a different plug because he thought it was a male. He thought it was a female when it was a male or vice versa anyway. So he told them to use a different one. And then when they were out here doing the testing, the plugs didn't made up. Oh yeah, of course. Right? And the oh, generals gosh. were asking me about yeah, this yeah. reverse pin receptacle, telling me that it's a male when it's a female or whatever. Yeah. And then I started explaining to the general, okay, and all these other ones are sitting here right behind them. Yeah. And he's giving me a hard time saying, I don't know the difference between a male and a female. And I said, okay, a male is like this, mm -hmm. and a female is like this, mm -hmm. and this is how they work. Oh, oh, and then he's like, then he's like, wow, 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 this has got this hood on it. And I said, okay, there's a male, yeah. there's a male who hasn't been circumcised yet. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> and then, then he's like, I understand. I said, and then I explained him the reason they have a hood on there yeah. is to protect the pins. Y'all are see his thing did it. It's wow. called a reverse pin. And the, I those, got those it. guys, those so guys. Most movies watching there, Marvin's. Oh my, oh my god, I got it. Oh my god, he's talking back to the big shot. Oh, and then you know the guy when that was all done, the guy said, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Funny. We'll see ya, yeah. People thought I was gonna get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you're a civilian. How can you get killed? Well, they, they, this guy was telling me that this guy was telling me that I did something wrong on an engineering basis, yeah. and I kind of have to defend myself because I can't claim to have made a mistake. Yeah. My boss would have been sore about that. You go back and say that oh, there was an error, and you admitted to it. This person. And I'm like, no, I, it wasn't an error. He, he kind of, he was like, hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? But all of a sudden, you get a phone call and you just disappear. Yeah. Like, I, like, impulsive. Yeah. Impulsive. That's what the whole like, point thing. I thought maybe you would look at what they gave me. Yeah. Because yeah. it was the drop. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. a silver yeah. dollar. He was, like, he was still like, so cool, was like, though. Hey, was it's an Eisenhauer. Good. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's have a beer together and drink a beer. That's nice of him. I, I wasn't like expecting it. to get anything. I just talk, wanted the honor. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. Yeah. That was cool. Somebody would come over. Yeah. Come that's why I thought, well, if you have, you have your phone with you, I can get, can't, you know, that's like yeah. cyber. Next thing you know, I hear he robbed the store. We should get a so he gave you an Ike. It's not a silver one though, right? It's a 72, yeah. So it's still a regular one. But it's, it's nice though. But Diana was her first salute. Yeah, it was her first salute. We just got lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. And we have a lot of fun out here all the time. We're always having little, 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 little wonderful things happen. You know, lots of little kids, little kids out having fun. You know. What just What's, happened, uh, Diana? What group is this? They what were, uh... The, that was National Guard. Oh, the National Guard? It was Guard? a promotion ceremony. Uh, she got her commission. She went from enlisted to a commissioned officer. Oh, um, and it's all downhill from there. Can I... Can no, I, I, no, the best officers yeah, are the officers. ones that started out as enlisted. Ask any... But they probably any, won't any make... Any military person. Make more the, than best, the best officers are the ones that start their careers as enlisted. Some of the old days, like World War II, get like a battlefield draft. promotion. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots Lots of, of, like a general's work. No, like there, there, there's, there's officers and there's enlisted. Enlisted are oh, the backbone okay. of uh, any military organization because they're the ones that actually do the work. And supposedly, 
officers are like management. So the ones that come up from being an enlisted person into the officer ranks always make the best uh, best officers because they understand the whole thing. And then the other two types of officers, like either from one of the military academies or they're what's called 90-day wanderers. Oh. They got a college degree and they go through the 90-day OTS, officer training school. Oh, yeah. I was going to call them 90-day wanderers, especially the second Louis, the butter bars. They're the biggest pain in the ass because of gung-ho. And they're always trying to, like, prove something or to make Well, noise. it's, it's, always, the, pain uh, in the, ass. it's always the senior enlisted um, responsibility to take those butter bars under their wings and and show them how, how to be leaders so yeah if you, you had know. a good a good enlisted like if a first sergeant or or like a you know like a chief master sergeant like a e70 89 guy but sometimes too sometimes you get like a lieutenant just wreaking havoc on people and you get a master sergeant or something he's a spineless twerp it's like come on if you do something keep this guy in line he's, he's killing us here man don't you have to you know no, oh, no, he, you have to teach them you have to teach but there's, there's also one thing, too, in the military where you found is that, because I don't know how the Army was, but in the Air Force, like, when when you went E5 and above, you had to take, a, like, a written test to obtain, like, rank all the way up to E9. So you had some guys, you had, like, these tech and master sergeants, like, they were, like, say, like, flight line guys. They worked, you know, maybe, like, on aircraft, like, flight line supervisors. And some of these guys, they were, like, real book smart. But they didn't like, they weren't, sometimes the lower ranking guys were more like smarter at the hands on stuff than they were, right? Like they get the, the E3 airmen or E3, E4 guys, they were great with tools and stuff, right? And this guy is like giving orders that people say to do. We shouldn't be done this way. Well, oh, I'm an E6, you gotta do what I say, right? So those are the guys eventually what happened, they would end up in the tool crib or in a desk job, right? The flight line flunkies. Because it was just, it was, it would just totally disrupt the operation. So a good leader also, a good leader is going to let his, is not going to let his pride get the best of him. Like, it's going to listen, because sometimes your subordinates have better ideas than you got. You know, you should always listen, though. You know, it's kind of like in, in airlines, it's called cockpit resource management. You know, because if, like, some sometimes planes have, have gone down because you have a timid first officer. And, like, the captain is doing something wrong. And... He should, like, take over the plane, but he's too, like, well, he's the captain. I can't do that. So now they make it more where it's like a team, so a captain's like another team member. It happens that's in Korea a lot. That's how it should be done, yeah. Because the, a lot of yeah, times, yeah, they, yeah. they've pointed that out, that the Koreans a lot of times won't yeah. won't dispute their su su superior. Yeah. And literally the, it, yeah. literally the superior was having, like, a, a stroke or something or whatever, and, and the second, second person wouldn't, wouldn't take over, and the plane went down. You should always question authority. It's good because some of these people in power are wrong, you know. Yeah. When somebody's above you, it doesn't necessarily make them right. Yep. Okay, so Diana, yeah, how did it feel to us, us for her she, giving that point? Like, 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 say, like on Star Trek, right? Where Captain Kirk, I'm the captain. Let's do this. Yeah. And Spock's the captain. I would advise against that. I liked it. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, uh, what good can good I say? Yeah, it's uh, definitely like a privilege too, when you see a young lady uh, come like, well, up and come up and and uh, if my idea was better than this, yeah, I'm go ahead. Be rewarded That's what a good for her efforts. Um, getting a commission is uh, is a big deal. And it's a big deal for her whole family too. Yeah, you her don't mom. Uh, you do, you don't just get that for just showing up. You know, you don't just show up to get that. You have to put in the work. And she put in the work as, uh, you know, probably a PV, private, up through E4. I think, he, I don't know if she was a specialist or what she got promoted from. But um, but uh, to get your commission after being in the enlisted ranks and going through the work, uh, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So what does she uh, I give you when... She, she she handed you uh, something. Oh um, yeah, it was it was uh, it uh, it's a tradition in in uh, the military to uh, uh, give uh, coins for special milestones, achievements, and things. And uh, what she gave me is uh, a, a dollar coin, you know, which is fine. You know, a lot of times they're military coins, but uh, is that the um, yeah. it was. Uh, yeah, it was nice. I, I wasn't expecting something like that. That that was very nice.
nice it's touch. It's a real nice touch of this lady. It's, it's a nice touch, yeah. It's very yeah. classy, but... Uh, and traditional, so. Not to pick on Diana, but Diana's even shedding a little tear, looks like. Yeah. This, this, was, this was a big deal for even Diana, right? Yeah, it was huge you know, too. So I don't, I don't I, want to pick on I Diana, tell, but, you know. I can tell. She's, uh, I had cataract surgery, so. Oh, okay. You should, see, you should see the other guy. <laughs> How's your eyes? Uh, they'll be better next time we meet. We're getting better all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it'll be better because uh, this next time I go back, um, she'll be able to actually give me a, a prescription for regular glasses. So then, then I'll be really, really good. Well, she wasn't crying before the ceremony. Okay, <laughs> we're not picking on her too much, but this is good. So we have little this little treasures. A little, tre little treasure. treasure. Yeah, this you is good. You never know what happens when you come down here. It's not bad. You know, we get touching moments. You know, we get everybody. Everybody does a little bit of stuff that's you know. Yeah, Bruce has always got information, even though he's not using his real Bible. You know, he's, he's breaking. Know. He's trying to break in a new Bible. one. Trying to break in a new one because he uses the other. He used the other one so much that literally, um, the spine was broken. Oh my! Right? Yeah. I mean, oh, it was falling just, apart. There's pages that fall on, falling out of the Bible. Yeah. Uh, on mine. Yeah. Ne yeah. Next week. And then we get we get to have fun with. Next week, do we want do we want to get together earlier because at noon they're going to do another one of those we're going to do another one of those rosaries here at noon. Oh, is it next Saturday? And that's next okay. Saturday. Okay. So if we want to meet, do our group meet maybe beforehand? If you want to meet at 11.30, yeah. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, why don't we do that? I'll try to send out an email that we'll plan on meeting at 11.30. Yeah, because... Okay. Um, at uh, Lindbergh or here. Yeah, okay. Because we have the rosary group going too, here too, so... I've got, okay. I put it up on Facebook, okay. and uh, a lot of people have been sharing it out. And yeah, I before, it yeah. The, It'd be nice. Yeah. 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 Yep. So, uh, and everybody's welcome. We will be praying the rosary. I know some people don't do that with their religion but um but we will be praying the rosary because it is a catholic event and I, but everybody is welcome to participate and we what it is is it's um it's prayers for our uh police it's it's in support of our police so um it's not partisan either no no the catholic stuff's never partisan so you know but you know but because we are catholic we, we pray the rosary uh, because that's our thing and um, so we will be doing that next Saturday at noon here at the Capitol and um, St. Michael the Archangel is, um, is who we're um, asking to protect our police. Yeah. Now we're going to get a song from Scotty.
Sunday school, the teacher walked in. A small little girl stared at a picture of him. She said, I know that man up there on that cross. I don't know his name, but I know he got off. Good. Thank you. That was original song? No, it's a John Michael Montgomery song. Okay. It's called right. Little Girl. Okay. Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard it before. Yeah, country music radio. Yeah. This is an original here. This one's, uh, um, I wonder if I should cable this. Yeah, I'll do it without it here. Um, it's called Thunder and Iron Mountain. What the hell is going on when we wake up tomorrow morning? All of freedom could be gone. Just what's happened to this country? No, I don't like what I see. But I'm going to tell you one thing, brother. They'll never take my guns from me. No.
this in it, yeah? yeah. Oh, right, sure. Um, I, I dropped the words for, for one, but I don't know if you have. What is it? What song? I, yeah, know. It's our, or, I have to know it. It's um, All Creatures of Our God and King. I don't know it. You want to sing it a cappella? Well, you can lead today. If you want to lead, yeah, I don't, because I don't know. I think I can get most of the notes. So you can improvise, maybe. No. I don't. I I, I don't like do. I'll stuff give like everyone a sheet. I kind of like learn the song first before I perform this is it. Not music. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really use sheet music. I memorize everything. This, this is just the words. I'm gonna have to take off. I, okay. Uh, I promised uh, some people I'd deliver some. Uh, I I gotta take off. You don't have time to sing with it. Uh, no, I gotta go. Okay. I promised uh, somebody I'd bring them. I got that bucket, like yeah, that yeah. pot in the car. Oh, I'll give it to you tomorrow, see. maybe. All right. Oh, that's fine. Are you going tomorrow? Yeah. That thing tomorrow? All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow. What I think the tomorrow? 3M thing's tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, oh. noon. St. Paul, oh, yeah. Hudson Road. Is that tomorrow? Tomorrow, I believe, yeah. yeah. Seems like there was something else tomorrow, too. I missed education one. I missed that one. That's because I was... We can't go to everything. Yeah. It's just too much stuff. Well, yeah. I get invited to 20 plus things a week. I, I can't go to everything. If I get it back or not, it doesn't matter. It's in the car. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I got to take on my like, Somebody I delivered. So Diana something. gave me some raspberries. Yeah. Uh, Bushes. Plants. Plants, yeah. <laughs> You'll have raspberries in the spring. <laughs> well, actually, uh, yeah, late spring, early summer. And then uh, they'll bear again about this time of the year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Well, well, this? Your day. Thank you, Diana. Yeah. Glad you had a good day. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. Thank yeah. you. We'll see ya. Yeah, we'll see you. We usually have a good day. So. This is Becky's favorite hip. Oh, Becky likes this one? Yeah. Oh, and I used to play. Becky who? Oh! Uh, my, uh, the Becky that leads the... Uh, Strollmeyer. Hold the line. Yeah, Becky. Yeah. yeah. She so likes Strollmeyer. Yeah, she's she's doing her own thing. So. And so I used to oh, play good. this to my mom on the piano. So I know it pretty well, and I'm not tone deaf. But if someone's on the wrong tone near me, I can wander then. <laughs> so I'm not real strong. But well, none of us none of us are going to be bragging about our singing skills. But this is uh, this is make a joyful noise unto the Lord. We're singing this to the Lord and yep. praise yep. and honor of Him. And so it's not about our singing abilities at this point. You know, we're not going to compare to Scotty there, but yeah, he, yeah, she was in the we're band just going to, this is worship. So. You know, the thing about it is, is Cammy's, Cammy's skills are legendary. <laughs> right? Yep. We're all going to start bragging about our skills. Let's call her Cameo. We're, we're all... <laughs> cameo. Cameo. Cameo making a Cameo <laughs> So she's a Cameo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all gifted. All gifted in our own ways. Um, according to God's purpose and plan for our life. Yeah, the, 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 they're <laughs> accusing me of being a mean dancer. <laughs> I gotta see that. <laughs> I'm always challenging those guys to a dance off at those events, and they're out there doing their dances. And I'm like, let's do a dance off, and then they, then they, then all of a sudden they don't want to dance anymore. <laughs> So we'll, we'll wait for Scotty to join My kids, my join kids us, like the dance. And we'll begin. We'll direct our hearts unto the Lord. <clears throat> okay. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with Let's us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou, oh, I'm sorry. Thou burning sun with golden beam, Thou silver moon with softer gleam, Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Verse 2. Thou rushing wind, thou art so strong, Ye clouds that sail in heaven alone, oh, praise him, alleluia. Thou rising moon in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, oh, praise him, 
all praise Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. And all ye men of tender heart, forgiving others, take your part. Oh, sing ye, Alleluia, ye who long pain and sorrow bear. Praise God and on Him cast your care. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Last verse. Let all things their Creator bless and worship Him with humbleness. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. Praise, praise the Father, praise the Son, and praise the Spirit, three in one. Oh, praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Alleluia. 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 It's an A. It's an A. It's I can figure excellent, I excellent. All right. I gotta learn that. Yeah, keep that. Apparently that's popular, with, at least with some people. That's a popular 500-year-old history. He's picking it up. Yeah, <laughs> it'll take a little bit of work. And so, can I uh, share a short amount of scripture? and a fairly short prayer with you. Sure. Okay. And I would have done this at the, uh, I, it was in my heart to do this at the mandate rally at the Department of Education in Roseville on Wednesday, but I would have had to go to the guy with the bullhorn and said, do you mind if I pray and read some scripture? And then I don't know how I would have held the Bible, the bullhorn and the, the amplifier all at the same time. I could have held that up for you. We all, we all, we always. That wasn't our event, but and um, it wasn't our event. No. So I didn't know. But I, but I, I always have that stuff. So if you really want to, you know. Because I think it's unfortunate, you know, as good as that event was, and bringing out the concerns and the fight we're in for, and how to support. Um, without the Lord in it, we're lacking direction and wisdom and power and guidance of the Lord and strategy, effective strategy that works. We need to involve the Lord in uh, this movement yes. to succeed. <laughs> and so, so I would have uh, said this from 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 8. First of all, then, I urge that entreaties and prayers, peti petitions, and thanksgivings be made on behalf of all men, for kings and all who are in authority, so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator also between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, the testimony given at the proper time. For this I was appointed a preacher and apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying as a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. Therefore I want the men of every place to lift up to pray, lifting up holy hands without wrath and dissension. At the same time saying that, um, Jesus also said that he who tempts, he who deceives, he who causes one of these little ones to sin, um, it better a, a life, uh, millstone be, be tied around their neck, they'd be thrown in the depths of the sea. So even though our desire, we want peace with our elected officials, we want tranquility, we want to live peaceful lives. At the same time, there is a time when you have to defend the vulnerable. 
you have to step up and um, you know defend them and rescue them from the hands of their oppressors and so we're in a time like that right now I believe there are time to uh, you know if one slaps you in one cheek turn the other cheek there is a time where you bless those who curse you um, love your enemies pray for your enemies but when they're coming at your family you know you don't hand them over to the violent when they're coming for our children in the schools we don't say you know go ahead corrupt our children destroy their health um, destroy their minds with um, lies and deceit you know no we stand up there's a time we stand up and defend them and um, that's the righteous thing to do the good thing the peaceful thing to do because it's not us who are rebelling right God gave parents authority over their own children the government is rebelling against God's authority and say no we're the authority not you so we're not the ones rebelling but with that it's exactly right yeah. I thought I would we would enter a time of short prayer for our government for our leaders as well as these um, this oppression and tyranny that is trying to come upon us and so It'll be a short prayer. Um, oh, I got my... 20 minutes? <laughs> like 20 minutes is a short prayer. If I find oh, my... Yeah. Time we'll, 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 we'll come back in if one hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> if I find my watch, it'll be a short prayer. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Go ahead. Take as long as you want. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It well, me. I'll come be very respectful of your time. Never to pray too long, man. No. And, uh, time but on. the pithy ones prayer. are the more popular yeah. ones. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> I've heard that. Okay. Well, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. Your word is true. 2,000 years ago, your word is true today. Your word is true forever because you don't make mistakes. And uh, so, Lord, we, we do pray for Governor Waltz that... <clears throat> He could abide by the principles of law and by our Constitution, that his heart could be turned uh, to you, God, and he would know goodness and righteousness, and he would rule not by oppression and opposing the law of the land and our constitutional rights, but we ask that he would change his heart and he would rule According to truth, righteousness, justice, what is good for the people. He would not, him and um, Ellison would not see themselves as dictatorial, but servants of the people, representing the people, doing what's good for the people. And we pray you would soften their hearts and speak to them and bring them repentance and turn them to you. And, um, Lord, we also ask for uh, the people in this movement who recognize uh, the lawlessness, the tyranny, the oppression, the contrary teachings being done to deceive, to hurt, to rule over, to control, to gain money to gain power um, we ask within our movement Lord that you would give us strategy in overcoming this that you would give us wisdom in how to deal with this that help us to respect the authorities because the authorities were put there by you but help us also not to compromise um, your authority over this land, that you are the ultimate authority over Ellison, um, Waltz, and our political leaders. 
and we all need to recognize we're one nation under God again. We pray you bring the fear of God to our leaders and we pray you would empower your people. You would give us boldness, Lord, to stand against what is destroying our children and corrupting our children's minds and hearts. Give us boldness, we ask. We also ask for great joy in our hearts from you. And we thank you for your word that you have given us author all authority <clears throat> and power over all the power of the enemy. So in Jesus' name, we have authority over the satanic beings and principalities over this land. Help us to use those powers, that power you've given us and authority you've given us. Help us to pray. Teach us to pray every day because, Lord, often we, we're so angry we don't feel like praying for our leaders. That's how I feel, Lord. And so give me a heart to do that and faith to do that. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I went under five minutes. Okay. Excellent. I didn't say brief prayer. I said short prayer. Oh, so, so, so there's a difference. If it was brief, I would have kept it to two minutes, you know. Or something. Yeah, you, you kind of, you kind of more or less did like three or four prayers all, all sandwiched together. Yeah. That's what you kind of did. So you actually had briefer prayers, but you didn't put an amen on the end of it. I didn't say amen. Yes, you mean Sky had a conversation with a Facebook group. Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry. I, yeah. uh, you know how I shared what's your name, you know, or whatever. Well, she commented on Scotty's comment. Who did? Uh, one of the candidates for the school board, Jennifer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, he, he, I, I didn't think. I don't even would, remember what I said to her. I don't. Something like you didn't answer the, her question or whatever, something about oh, you yeah. didn't get, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? And so it's me, Scotty, and talking to Jennifer, you know. And, and Jennifer is un unhappy because you didn't answer her question? She wasn't, she was not really. She, she couldn't she, handle it. She couldn't, she couldn't handle she couldn't, it? She, I just, she couldn't straight up answer my question and Scotty's just like well, Jennifer couldn't answer your question yeah and Scotty just, what was your question uh, what's your response to the COVID-19 you know I mean how was you know with the mask mandates and she couldn't just give me a straight answer she said like well yeah it's like something about her kids too like my kids my kids wear masks it was something like that right yeah. and I think the question was what about other people's kids that don't believe in that it was something was along more, those lines. Like, yeah. will you end the mask mandates and how do you yeah, know? Will you end and, yeah, yeah. And well, and how will you keep? The, will you like? And will you? I want to protect my children. Right? Well, and then and then I asked about the, uh, the jab mandate, and she just like, well, by the time she, she, uh, she's in there, uh, by the time that, that that she's in there, she won't she won't have a say because they already take. You know, they always the, they already uh, vote on it. This okay. is a, it's done, then the mask mandate should be over with. It's like, that's not even... And then I said, she didn't answer the question. No, so so it's me be. and Scotty, you know, like, talking to... And I think her. finally in the end, she said, like, you know, I just said, well, I just said, you've already told me all I need to know. <laughs> well, well like when said, it came to masking, uh, she... she, she, she well, okay. No, okay. one comment was, uh, well, well, kids, well, you kids should wear masks anyways because of this bad air filtration in the school systems and that, that can spread the COVID faster. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, so they should wear a mask. Well, shouldn't the... Okay, you're talking about bad HVAC designs in schools. Well, shouldn't shouldn't the uh, they hire a mechanical engineer, or a mechanical contractor to come money. through, yeah. to come through and change out the filters and stuff, yeah. maintain uh, balancing of the systems yeah. and make sure the airflow is good. Yeah. And actually, uh, the other thing they can do is they can start working on uh, like heat recovery units that do yeah. more outside air yeah. and recover heat and improve the air quality dramatically that way yeah. too. Yeah. There, there's all kinds of ways you can spend money that actually actually she will improve the air quality. There is bad filtration in the air, so oh, the kids just, should wear masks. Basically dodging the question. Well, the, well, I'm supposed to be an honest well, 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 And then she finally commented and saying, well, I, I, I'm getting no vacations, but she can't see any comments. So that's when the conversation ended. 
Well, if they want, if they want to actually improve their air quality, hire some engineer to come in there and design a system that has better air quality. We could design a heat but, recovery system that's almost 100% outside the air, recovers al recovers almost all the heat. I like that. And uh, Robert's doing some advertising for his friends. business here. <laughs> uh, this is a business. Yeah, I used to do that. I still do that. So. That was what she had told me as Scotty on Facebook was, you know, that the, the air is bad, so the kids should wear masks because, you know, it spreads the COVID faster. My old, my old mechanical engineers are retired yeah, now, really and they they, they want to work still part time. So if I want to do a mechanical project, well, I could. But my my stuff is electrical security and That's fire like alarm, fire protection mostly. Why not send our kids to school at a uranium factory? Well, I can do full service. Just yeah. I just normally don't choose to. I prefer to work electrical stuff. Yeah. Oh, I had a great Halloween, but uh, by the way. Uh oh. Cameo is, you know what's going to happen here with Cameo pretty soon? Cameo, Cameo is going to be out here like, I did she's it. down here with the little people, where she's down here with I the had, little people. I had a great Halloween. Yeah, Cameo, it's she's, I took, I what? took, I took my daughter to a trick or treat at the governor's mansion. Yep. What? Yeah. Was it open? They didn't accept any candy. I can't throw candy. I got my photo with them. Oh, I got an email to you. What? Did you talk but, to them? And oh. and well, I'm just, you know, for the record, you know, he's all on this mask mandate. Well, he wasn't wearing a mask. He was not wearing a mask. That was the point of the photo. He was not wearing a mask, and clearly, he was not social distancing because I had my arm around him. When, you know, I was making yeah. a point, so I made a little exposure. So, so I don't mean to upset anyone because I, you know, a lot of great comments. But the, there was a point to what I was doing. He was not wearing a mask, and he was not social distancing, and he hired a camera lady, you know, to take... There was at least two people there with him besides him. Yes, there's a couple people, but he hired a photographer... Yeah, he, he had basically security with him. But he had he hired a photographer to take photos of him and all the trick-or-treaters that had come. So it was a photo op. Photo op, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, okay. and Scout, I actually got the pet Scout. Yeah, I saw, yeah. That's oh. okay, I mean... God is opening these opportunities for you to get with uh, high up leaders. Yeah. Like you're infiltrating the high up leaders. We just ask, please don't forget about us. That's right. We'll cameo pretty soon. Get up there. So the, yeah, well, remember, back, back remember, in the day. Remember our needs. Back in the day, there was. Join with them. Yeah. Back That's in the day. The back in the day, she used to have those people that she used to hang out with. But now that she's in, in the high. Uh, High society I'm life, you know. Up. I was just clearly make, making a point. Is he going to be, is he, is he's he like going to be, you know, he's out doing book candy, signings and, and stuff. And if he's candy, will he have a mask on his six feet? There was no mask and he was, he did not have a mask and none of them had a mask and then none of them were still. So, yeah. And if you lace the candy with vaccine too, you probably lace <laughs> it now. I'm going to vaccinate those little bastards yet. <laughs> he's got a guy, a guy up in a tree with a dart gun. Yeah. Blow dart, you know, the vaccine. I don't know. We put it in the candy. I'm not going to comment on that. Oral vaccine, right? Oh, uh, well. They at least I, I basically figured that it was nice enough of him from at least to do that. <laughs> that was better than he's been doing. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he's he does uh, try yeah. to present an image <laughs> that he... With the Pfizer... But that all like, groups he's tolerant of and will listen to them. Saturday, Outwardly, he puts on that yeah. image. But boy, he does it. His policy is just really. We're out there. We're all, we're going to be out there pretty soon. You know, he won't. More than likely, he won't come out. You know, we're not. We're not mean or anything, right? We're basically friendly. You're you're pretty friendly most of the time, right? Me. Most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> I mean, the cameo we'll here, you know, right, you know, and then we're, Bruce is friendly. We're going to respect I'm friendly. the authority, but also we're going to defend vehemently, oppose their mandates and their unlawful edicts. Yep. You can do another one. Should I? Sounds like you were going to. I'm just kind of messing around. I'm in front of a beautiful building. We're up to doing pray, pray, pray for the USA. Yeah, all right, we can do that one. I forgot to mention that while uh, Diana was here. I was going to do this one. Your phone was messed up, so I called Diana. Oh, yeah, just for the record, I'm going on K, oh, is it, um, KCHK 95.5 FM in uh, New Prague. I'm going to be doing live uh, 
live radio there on December 17th. Oh, that would be nice. From 7 to 10 a.m. Marva Kroll's the lady. She set me up with it. So she's probably watching. So if you're watching, thanks, Marva. But I'm going to do this song. Uh, do an old gospel number here. It's kind of a blues version of it. Open my eyes, I may see 
late today because I was commenting on TwinCities.com. Oh, yeah? So. What'd you say? If you want to see what my comments are, you can. Don't drop it. That's a computer. Oh. <laughs> no, really? This is a computer. Oh, okay. This is my desktop computer. So you have a, you have a, a very wordy com response. I do. I got, so you want to you say what your response is? I got very... I got very aggressive. Oh, you got aggressive, yeah. With this response? With this response to the article where it's talking about 5 to 11 year olds are going to be vaccinated. Yep. And so I did have a long comment and I had many comments throughout the comment section. So get ready, here it is. How long is this comment going to take? I would say this comment's going to take about three minutes okay maybe two to three minutes okay yeah, so yeah. it's a pretty long comment okay so and it's, it's a very comment it's very aggressive okay um <clears throat> how you feel though so with these five to eleven year olds getting shots yep that they want to they would like to force get shots and they, they're moving that direction i answered that this is clearly child abuse we charge the the ignorant criminal authorities with child abuse. Keep your hands off the children, evil government, big pharma Marxists, in Jesus' name. If you go forward with this injustice, it is going to come back around and punish you severely, whether directly from God's throne or from the law of reaping what you sow. We all know children do not die from coronavirus unless they have cancer or a serious illness we all know children do not get badly sick from coronavirus we all know this is not a vaccine but a unproven mrna that spreads a spike protein throughout the body unproven spike protein we all know that big pharma and medical facilities and government officials' investments make a lot of money from the jab. Where was I? And it's destroying brother Remdesivir, the cure, the medical cure. We all know this mRNA does not little or nothing to prevent the spread of coronavirus. We all know natural immunity has by far the best and safest and longest lasting immunity. We all know doctors like Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, a expert medical doctor that researches vaccines was removed by big tech government, big pharma, for revealing truth. We all know much more children die from influenza every year, yet they do not force vaccination. We all know the horrendous side effects from the spike protein vaccine are much worse than the symptoms children get from coronavirus. We the people know they, the ignorant freedom haters, are lost in their own egos, tyrannical political narratives, and dark ideologues. That's my comment this morning. Okay. Before coming here, I had many more any, following. Did, uh, any responses to that, or at all? I won't know till I get home because this operates on Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my Wi-Fi is at home. Okay. And so I was just brought it to see if I could still read what was on there before yeah. leaving home, and I could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you just wanted to make sure you protect your your. your so iPod. that was a very aggressive. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I'm very uh, alarmed at giving kids these shots when they don't seem to need it, and they've they don't they've, they've clearly been exposed to this stuff. You know, because they cl they claim the COVID, they claim that the that the disease um, had a doubling of every four days, three to four days they were arguing. So every three to four days, the number of people who were infected would double. 
Well, shoot, you know, you think about that. How many? It's been 18 months now, right? <laughs> the doubling, the doubling would not the even. Two hundred percent would have it by now. No, it would be. It'd be. <laughs> It'd be the population's probably been exposed to it 50 times. They're probably being exposed to it constantly. Yeah. You the know? one thing they don't tell you is how many children have had it, had it and didn't even know they had it, yep, yep. or have had very, very minimal symptoms. They're not going to tell you that. That's not part of the narrative. Yeah. You know, one of the other things they want to argue is that the little kids are, are the evil spreaders. Right, these old, these right. They they want to argue that these little grandkids are killing off their great grandmas yeah, and that. stuff. These great grandmas and stuff are dying in the, in these in these medical places, and they are they're begging, please let me see my great grandkids, my grandkids and stuff before I die, and they won't let them bring their 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 kids to come see them. And the kids want to see it. And these kids, a, have already been exposed to us. They they're not probably going to get sick. But they B, got natural immunity. Natural immunity already. Better than vaccine. Already. But the realistically, um, they're not, even if they got sick from their great grandma or whatever, they're not going to get that bad sick. No. So, so basically, it's, it's, it's a choice. These little kids would like to see their great grandma or their grandma or their whatever, or their great grandpa before their great grandpa dies. Yes, please. Please. Let the children. Let, let me let be. The families. You know, I, they, they wouldn't even agree to wearing masks and stuff. They won't even let them go into their hospital rooms, whatever. And then one, people, people are being, they're being treated just, they're being treated just, heck, they're being treated worse than these concentration camps back in Germany, where they, they would, they would, they would take the certain kinds of people and they'd lock them up in these camps. Now they're, they're locking up people individually in these medical places and, and refusing to let them leave and refusing to let them have basic stuff like food. They won't let them have food. It's common. One after the other, people are saying, well, they won't let us have food. And it's like, you know, what's what's wrong with these people? They won't let them have food. And then uh, then, then they'll say, well, we'll take them off the, uh, take them off the nasal cannula and their, their oxygen level drops down to 67. But, you know, it's like, well, you know, that's not so terrible. It's not the end of the world if they can eat or something. But you can also put them on an IV food, some kind of, they have, they have things, and they can also give them a feeding tube. You know, wh why not give people food? Because people need to have basic nutrition and stuff. And, um, you know, it, it's just horrible. And, and along then, with that, um, they've also locked up the uh, Trump supporters that gathered at the Capitol on January 6th. For months. They've locked them up without charges and without... Um, due process. Without due process, without a lawyers. trial. Without a lawyer. As far as we know, they don't even have lawyers. And so how far do they plan on spreading that? How many Trump supporters do they plan on locking up and, and um, you know, jailing and separating from society? And Wasn't it always a deal that basically if you got arrested for something, you had to get charges like within 48 hours or something like that? You can't. Of course. You can't. We're, we can't go, go grab Cammy here and say, well, we're going we're gonna to throw you in a concentration camp for six months and not let anybody talk to you. You're totally isolated. Nobody's told you what, you're not a war criminal, right? You're not a political, you know, America's yeah. never been like that. See, like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Louis Gohmert, they went and tried to, to visit the place and they wouldn't let him in. If you saw that video. It's, it's, it's horrible that people are... They say, tell the lady that you don't, you don't have the authority to do this. You even even prisoners of war that. have rights. Yeah, I wouldn't even let the two people from Congress Prisoners of war, you know, they, they'll have the American Red Cross come visit them. And then, of course, you'll have your horrible stuff like uh, they're trying to pass over stuff to Jane Fonda, giving her little notes in their hand, they give it to Jane Fonda, and then Jane Fonda goes and turns it into the, you know, the, the guards. But normally, normally, at least you have the, you know, the... American the Red Geneva Cross, convention, convention. the Geneva they Convention, they'll come visit these prisoners and find out whether or not they're being tortured or being abused and stuff. Right. And, um, you know, somebody, being... somebody should be getting to go visit these people who are being held prisoner for months to find out whether or not they're being, you know. They didn't even treat like the Boston Marathon bomber. They didn't treat that badly with no lawyer. Yeah. It's, it's not right, you know. When has that been acceptable? That's a, extremely unjust. Yeah. And going the other way, 
And then, of course, that that, that, that person who killed that, that 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 woman, they know who did that. There was a guy. There's a video where they had a handgun, right? And the 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 the, 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 the Antifa guy that pretended to be one of, the one of them was videotaping this handgun. And this person's pointing the handgun at that woman, and then he fires it, and then she goes down, and she's been shot in basically the head. It's all on that video. I got a copy of it, but basically it's it's horrible and that person who pulled that trigger hasn't gotten in trouble at all unbelievable but they'll, but they'll, they'll, they'll prosecute kyle rittenhouse for clearly defending himself and the case shouldn't even be on trial at all it's ridiculous if that's what's on the news now is the kyle rittenhouse there's also the other one the arbory trial those two things are on the news a lot yeah, so. either case should go to trial it was clearly, so yeah, the Arbery thing, that was when that guy grabbed his, uh, tried to take his shotgun away, tried to take his, what, shotgun or rifle or whatever he had from him, and the guy shot him, you know? I mean, you don't go after a guy that's pointing a gun after you, you know? <laughs> so well, they're on they're on the news a lot. I'm not too familiar with either one of them. I haven't been watching them, but they, uh, they're they they're common right now. There's two major trials that are having to do with this kind of stuff. Um, they care about certain people's trials and other trials they don't care about. The fake news is probably putting a spin on it too. They're probably lying about it. The tr- they're probably telling the truth about it, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they're but they're twisting the truth around about it too. Yeah. So well, these people sure. who are worried about those trials should also be worried about these other ones, because uh, you might you might believe that um, you know you're right on your one or two examples, but as quick as you um, allow. Even people you don't like to be abused, right, by the government, you say, well, we're not going to, like I was talking a couple, couple of, like back on the 25th, I was going around talking about um, going after people that wear, wear white shoes, you know, um, making, up, making up stuff like that. And all of a sudden, people who are of a certain, certain type are, are like people that wear camouflage hats, right? Okay, we're, 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 well, that wouldn't work for us because there's only four of us here, so we'd have to, we'd have to say that camouflage hats that say America, because yours does it. So, so we're just, we're, or, or people United that are, States. but it doesn't say America. Loophole Louie over here. Air Force. Okay, oh, yours, yours says America. So if we make up some rule, because it's four of us, that people, people who are wearing plaid shirt, shirts, you know, are illegal, right? That's Democ- the of Marxism. That's a way of people. democracy, too. Democracy is three of us decide to go after one. It's, and it's three, wolves and a, three wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. That's right. Three wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. Right? Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and a republic would not allow the three wolves to, to kill the, the no, sheep. would because um, uh, the laws in the Constitution are for the welfare of the people. Even the minority. Yep. Yeah, which is like like a classic example that would be like people like maybe like Quakers or the Amish were pacifists, and they don't believe in war, so they don't get drafted like when a war comes because it like violate their rights. Yeah, so that's, that was that's kind of what it was meant to protect. This is kind of, a lot just of one example. Went to Canada during the Vietnam War. Yeah. To escape the draft. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of them weren't necessarily. Conscientious objectors, they just didn't want to go to war. You That's know? True. Like, yeah. like, like if you go like, well, I don't believe in killing and stuff, but like, you know, they, they examine your background and you kind of, and you've been out there, you know, advocating the Second Amendment or I'm or whatever, but whatever. If you kind of, you know, there's no evidence that you had any kind of religious belief that you know, or like somebody that's Amish or something. Well, just kind of know, you know, because they practice yeah, that's their, their life. That's built into their yeah whole belief system. Well, I just turned Amish just uh, just yesterday. They, <laughs> I know. <they> literally, <laughs> I just converted a jailhouse conversion, right? Yeah. They Hallelujah. The Amish kill. literally will let people punch them and knock them off, and they will not resist. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's right, but. That is well, if I saw some uh, if I saw some Amish guy getting punched by some other person, yeah. guess what would happen to that other person? You'd give him a beating. I'd give him a beating. Yeah, right. So I don't care if the Amish guy doesn't want me to beat up the other guy. I'm not going to let some Amish guy get beat up by some random person. Yeah, because yeah. Just, you're, you're just, being police. Just because part. he's Amish, yeah. 
Because as quick as quick as you let people be attacked just because they're not the same as you, that's, that that is that's, so society that's, goes to hell. That's why criminals started, um, you know, picking on the Amish because they knew they weren't going to fight back. So they go, yeah, oh, we can rob them easier than others. That's just stooping really, really low doing that. Man. Going after people that won't fight back. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the sweetest people. I've, I've run into a few of them before. The Amish, yeah, I love yeah. the Amish. Yeah. Actually, my faith is very similar to the Amish. They, you know, okay, they okay, the Bruce, thing. you're a sinner. So you good. are, look at you. What's this? You, you have buttons. You have very, buttons. Very you probably have zippers. Self-sustaining no. community. They, they rely on God. They have the same Bible. And yeah, yeah. They have the same gospel that I have. And they actually like a lot of Baptists. But I gotta remind you guys yeah. that I don't identify primarily as Baptist. We always accuse you of that because you go to a Baptist church. <laughs> I've gone to Lutheran churches, yeah. hey, look at God, flag. many different churches. Oh, there we go, F. Biden. Ah. There we go, F. Biden. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Right over there. We got a visitor, <laughs> F. Biden. Okay, we don't normally oh, advocate man. for swearing, no, but I don't advocate. Oh, Let's go, Brandon. Works better. Let's go, Brandon's oh, that, that's better. Funny. That's why. But, um, that's why this is saying let's go Brandon for those people. Who because basically, us. you know, you know what the, you know what they're saying about uh, let's go Brandon, is that it's code language now. Code language, yeah. Code, code language for you know racist extreme extremism, and it's like not no, it's, not not it's like it's like it's like a joke, you know. No, Basic, it's, mock, it's mocking the leftist media. It's yeah, it's mocking, mocking the leftist We're mocking media. Them. They don't like being mocked, but they mock people. But they don't like it when it's done to them, though. They get all butt hurt because they're being they're Mocked. being teased. That lady, yeah. Everybody could clearly hear what they were saying, yeah, yeah. right? Everybody could clearly hear what it. Yeah. And she's like, oh, oh no, that's not what they're doing. They're yeah. saying, let's go, Brandon. And it's like you can hear them, you know, yeah. right? And so she's trying to cover up the fact that it's on live TV, you know, and and, yeah. and, and so everybody's just we're we're basically basically it's like a triple a triple gut, right? It is more or less saying what what the crowd was saying. It's it's making fun. It's making fun of the uh, the lady who's trying to you know spin it, and then it's just kind of like you know making it as you know it's 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 it's, it's okay. It's just funny. Yeah. So there, there's a lot a lot of benefits to saying, and it's basically clean. It's kind of code a clean code word. So but it's not like it's not the, it's not a clean code words. word for extreme racism and hate and stuff. That's what they want to say. They're trying to portray it as like, yeah, this is extreme. I mean, it's nothing you know. different than the Trump haters did. Well, the, the, uh, we, we saw the Trump haters coming out here saying horrible stuff like that yeah. all the time, right? Yeah, they, they do the same. So both sides. You, you saw that kind of yeah, stuff all the time. Yeah. And so we're, our guy is saying something even even remotely similar, like, let's go Brandon. Oh, they're just, you know, I won't that's over. In with that chant. That's over the top. You don't like that one? I won't join in with those chants because of let's the, go Brandon. the original language. But, oh, so um, you're you're opposed to let's go Brandon. Well, I personally you won't don't participate. Join in with it. I won't participate with it. It doesn't offend me any. Not even the swear. I personally won't do it, but it doesn't bother I, me. I like understand all the anger. The Boy Scout group I was coming out, right? Yeah. But maybe instead oh, of yeah. maybe what are you guys of, coming out for? Maybe instead of cursing people, we should praise God instead, right? Oh, okay. All right. Don't you light a candle and don't curse the darkness. Instead of cursing, yeah, I mean you expose God. the evil works of darkness. Like, but let's go Jesus. I'm not going to walk around cursing. Yeah. Them. Oh my God. Let's go Jesus. Would you let's joke? go Jesus? Yeah. That's code language for racist extremism too, yeah. right? Let's go Jesus. But that would be like extremism, right? That's a, uh, instead of like F Joe Biden, just say let's I praise Jesus. Know. Let's praise Jesus. Or, yeah, What's wrong with that? They, they would they would get they would be offended no, let's praise by Jesus. Yeah. They would. How do you think that they would be offended? They would be. I guarantee yeah. it. If you start saying let's praise Jesus, let's praise Jesus. Right. They would. They would be all offended by that because yeah. that's a. Let's that's, praise Jesus. That's a hate thing, right? Because yeah, ultimately, right. that is yeah. that is who they because hate. Because Jesus represents. They hate Jesus Christ. What's good, That's who they what's hate. right, and what's just, and He's bringing justice and judgment. If you tell an extreme left winger that 
justice will come in the end. Everything yeah. will be made right. Yeah. They'll explode with anger. I've had it happen against me for saying that because they don't want to see justice come. Well, their definition of it judgment. is twisted 180 degrees backwards, too. Yeah. Yeah. They call evil good, and they call good evil. Yeah, and they yeah. have a sense of that in their yeah. conscience and heart that they're on the wrong side, but they, yeah. up to now, continue anyway. Well, and the other thing is they're constantly accusing us of stuff that they literally do themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how the criminal mind works. Yeah. It accuses others of what you yourself do, and Jesus talked about that. He said... <clears throat> You know, do not judge. Those who judge do the same things yeah. that they're judging others doing, so be careful. I think the deal is, is basically they see the, they, themselves and others doing these kinds of stuff, so they just automatically assume that the other guys are doing it too. And also they feel condemned over their own wrongs, yeah. and so their heart is full of what condemnation, yeah. and, and so what comes out of their heart? Condemnation toward others. You know, either you have the forgiveness and grace and mercy of Jesus, or you have nothing but guilt, shame, and condemnation. We should say hi to the Cub Scouts. Yes, you know, I, I, but I kind of understand it because when I was in my teens and like in, in my early 20s, I would have been one of the people that probably would I probably would have, I probably would have cursed. Oh, Blue Lives right. Matter, yeah. You guys are all with like, two forty-five, or? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. See, if you would have known me, Bruce, if you would have known me, make those yourselves. Oh yeah. Is that a willow stick? I bring it to his friend Julia. Oh sure. Yeah, I would have been like in my twenties. I would have been like, ah, yeah, Jesus boy here. Hey, Jesus boy. That's that's what I was like then. I mocked like. We praise the Lord. Oh, by That's the what way, I used to be like before I found Jesus. Man. I got I an invitation like. for you three. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you want to turn off the video yeah. at this point or not. We're, we're looking to, we're looking to probably to go. We're looking to go, but I have an invitation for you. And so this coming Monday at 7 p.m. Yeah. There's a movie at Rosedale Theater. Yeah. It's called um, Sabina. Um, persecuted, uh, what, what's the subtitle? Um, persecuted for Christ Sabina. during the Nazi era. Oh, sure. So this is a true story. Yep. It's at the Rosedale 14 Theater AMC, Rosedale yep. 14, 7 p.m. Monday. Yep. I bought five tickets. Oh, okay. I bought five tickets. Oh. I'm using one. Okay. I got four tickets left. Oh. First come, first serve. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> so if you're interested and you're Monday, open. I think Monday is okay for me. I don't think I have anything. But let me work. know for sure. <laughs> if you If you plan on coming. Because I don't want to hold the ticket for you. Yeah. yeah. If you can't show up yeah. and then someone else. So that wasn't like on a Sunday afternoon. Keep someone else from stopping. Well, it's probably only playing one night. It's right? only playing three nights. Oh. And but you're right at Rosedale one night. Yep. And then the theater by Fleet Farm in Oakdale one night, and then some other theater in Minneapolis somewhere. Who knows Minneapolis? You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd Minneapolis. go on Monday. I think. <laughs> I'll, I'll check. Kidding. I'll check my calendar. Yeah. But. I don't think I have anything on that. So, so far, nobody has claimed the other four. Okay. okay. And I put it out to uh, a few people at my church. Alpha. Yeah. yeah. Are you for sure on that? Yeah. Scott doesn't work on Monday. Scotty, want to come? No, I'll be. I'm a, I, I, I got to work. <laughs> Can Scott come? I will try to ask him. I'll try to get him to. If they're available, you know. I'll, I'll you let you know. Your, bring your kid with. Yeah. I know. How about your I can, daughter? I will try and drag them with me. And so this, this woman, is, she was atheist hedonist. You know what a hedonist is? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that means you live for your own pleasure. Life, is nothing but pleasure. My own pleasure. Very selfish, and an atheist, hated God. Anything to do with God. So there's a difference between atheism and agnostic. There is a difference. Atheism is effectively a religion, where atheism is almost like a Christian 
basically that, that, that hates, atheism is anti, whereas agnostic is that you just don't believe in anything, generally. Okay. And so this woman, I think maybe you and your daughter might really appreciate this. Anyway, she got transformed from the gospel of Christ and the Nazis killed her family because they were Jewish. And uh, she, what a heroine, what a courageous person. She went out and went out and loved her enemies and those who killed her family. She, she loved and reached out to them without any fear of her own life or yep. safety. Yep. Uh, one of the courageous women that's ever lived. So I don't know how well done the movie is, but I know it's it's based on a true story. And her and her husband were both jailed during the Nazi slash communist times by both. And um, they started a group called Voices of Martyrs, which is still active around the world today, supporting Christians who are um, oppressed, persecuted, oppressed thrown in jail, their rights taken from them, and tortured. They were tortured in prison. Yeah. And so, yeah, so if you, if you can <clears throat> come, you know, give me a call and let me know for sure. If you're sure now, I can hold your spot, but you might want to consider what your schedules are before committing. <clears throat> I want to see the new one. God's Not Dead movie. God's Not Dead, We the People. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I saw the trailer do it. I've yeah, seen, I've seen the too. original one, of course, and then I think the second one. I haven't seen the third one, but it's We the People. It looks like a good one, man. It does, too. So, I don't know if they show that in any theater or not. Do we head to the next location? Yeah, next location. Yep. All right, so we're going to go over there. I think we're going to have Bruce and Scotty and then maybe Cameo. But in Cameo, she's, she, that's her like her, her spot, right? <laughs> See, now everybody's calling. Now she's going to hate my guts. Because nope, nope. you called her Cameo. Now everybody's starting to call her that. Yeah, they're going to start making a make up so, a nickname for you then. Of our state, you can lead us to, to them. So. All right, so we're going to log out for the next location.